So today I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite things ever, food. More specifically snacks. Now, I don't really talk about it that much, but I'm really into healthy eating and eating foods that are really good for you. And I want to start sharing that side of my life with you guys. I know I did my source box unboxings, but other than that, I don't really talk about it. But before I kind of get into it, I always want to bring across the fact that I do not eat these things all the time. For the most part, I do, but I am very much about balance and I will still eat chocolate and a packet of crisps if I want. I'm just lucky in the respect that I genuinely enjoy and like these healthier alternatives. I am not all about that extreme clean eating thing. It's all about balance. Balance is key. So anyway, let's get into it because I've got quite a few things. Now, I am a big snacker. I always have been. Not a day goes by where I don't have at least one snack, especially between lunch and dinner. So I always like to have a variety of snacking options and sometimes it can be hard to kind of know what to go for especially if you are looking down the healthier route I'm just going to be going through a lot of my kind of go-to snacks and hopefully inspire you guys to try some of these things this rice cakes with nut butter now this combination is honestly heavenly my favorite is the blueberry and vanilla rice cakes by Calo. Like, these are amazing. And the smooth almond butter by Meridian. This is my go-to nut butter. I prefer it much over peanut butter. If I'm feeling extra hungry, sometimes I'll put banana or apple on it as well. And, oh my god, honestly, it's... I, oh, I really want to, like, eat this right now. Meridian do, like, loads of different nut butters as well. I love this brand because it has like no added sugar. A lot of nut butters will add in like extra sugar or extra salt, which I don't see why because it tastes just as good, if not even better, without all of that stuff added in. So Meridian, literally, all they have in this is roasted almonds. 100%. Like that is it. There's no added salt or sugar or palm oil actually it says as well so like this is literally just straight almonds but Meridian also do a peanut butter they do a cashew butter they recently released coconut almond butter and coconut peanut butter I have a jar of the coconut peanut butter downstairs and I've not opened it yet because I'm waiting to finish this and I'm so excited to try it oh my god on to the snack bars like literally snack bars are my one of my favorite things ever I'm gonna show you a few of my favorites now this is so predictable, like if you really know me, you will know that I live and breathe naked. Not naked as in being in the nude, but naked as in these. Oh my god, these bars are just amazing. This is the Christmas pudding flavour, which is unfortunately unavailable now because it's past Christmas. And my favourite cafe mocha which is really hard to find. You can never find it in any shops. If you're looking for that flavor, you probably won't be able to find it anywhere other than online. I've got so many different flavors. They've got a cashew one, cocoa, gingerbread, pecan pie. They've also got oat versions, and they've also got ones with extra protein in. What's good about these is that they are Literally, the only ingredients are dates, cashews, raisins, cocoa, and a hint of natural flavoring. Well, that's in the Cafe Mocha one. And I love how it gives you like the little percentages just like that, and it's so easy to read. And most of them are one of your five a day, they're vegan, like they are just so good. Also, as well as the naked bars, naked also do these. These are nibbles. So they're basically just like tiny little bits of Naked Bar. I really like these as well. This is the salted caramel flavour, but my favourite of these is the coconut ones. Oh my god, amazing. They also do like a toffee one, 
mint, a fruit salad and tutti frutti as well. These are great. And again, it's just like the Naked bars. The ingredients are all really good. Naked are by a company called is it Natural Balance Foods or something like that. They have a website where you can buy the Naked bars, but you can also buy Trek bars, which I also really like. These are a bit bigger than Naked bars. They've got two ranges. The Energy bars, this one is peanut power and they've also got flapjacks this one is a cocoa coconut one and this is just a normal cocoa oat one and these are all pretty high in protein like in this flapjack there's nine grams and in this energy bar is 10 grams so great if you're needing extra protein i like to eat these if i need something a bit more filling like say i'm going out and i know i'm not going to have dinner until a lot later or if i'm going to a gig or something and i need that extra energy boost like i'll have one of these because they're a lot more substantial and a lot more filling the energy bars are actually one of your five a day as well which is great there's no added sugar or syrup they also have a mixed berry flavor a cocoa one i think they might do a banana one which is a bit harder to find and these flapjacks are just amazing they are basically just better for you flapjacks so if you need a little bit more indulgence in your snacking go for these flapjacks because they are so good another brand that i really like is nine bar these bars are basically just seeds so this is the pumpkin one and it's actually the only one that I've tried so I feel a bit hesitant to include it but I do really like these and I do want to go and try the other ones. If you're a fan of seeds then you'll probably really like these. I'm pretty sure they also do ones with like a chocolate coating on the top. And the final snack bars that I'm going to show you are these. These are by Primal Pantry. They're similar to Naked Bars, actually, very similar. Their primary ingredients are dates and nuts, but they're just a bit bigger. My favorite is the almond and cashew. I think it's because of the cashews, because one of my favorite Naked Bar flavors is cashew cookie, and this tastes really similar to that. So almond and cashew, Brazil nut and cherry, coconut and macadamia, and hazelnut and cocoa. They also do an apple and pecan one, but I've eaten all of those ones. These are more substantial than Naked Bars because to be honest, Naked Bars are just a little bit small. Like honestly, they don't really fill me up as much as one would hope. These bars are like the perfect size. They're not too big and they're not too small. And the last thing that I'm going to be talking about is Grays. Now, I have been a loyal customer to this subscription for almost two years, I think. They're already separated into little portions for you like look at that I've only got two left in this one and there's so many different snacks to go on and choose from you've probably heard of them before if you're in the UK because honestly in every magazine every time I go into WH Smith I swear I end up having a Grey's voucher to be honest I don't really have the Grey's Punnets as snacks that often I usually incorporate the Punnets into my breakfast or have it as part of a lunch or sometimes they have little cakes and flapjacks which I'll have as a dessert so I don't really snack on them as such as much as I used to but I mean the idea is that they are some used as snacks I've only got two left in this box I'm actually doing another box this week so I've got the dark chocolate cherry tart which is Belgian dark chocolate juicy cherries cranberries and Chilean flame raisins and then I've also got the apple and cinnamon flapjack this company I cannot speak highly of it enough this isn't sponsored imagine if it was oh my god sponsored by Grey's the dream but no I, I really love them and I'm, I'm gonna leave a link down below where you can get your own box like I think your first box is free I'm pretty sure so that was a little insight into some of my favorite snacks I hope I've inspired you to go out and try some new things thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye
goodbye. I should really think of like an outro because I'm always like, bye!